Hey, it's Reagan Thorpe here with Reagan Thorpe Real Estate Group and Keller Williams, and we are back again with Kevin Rubin. He's been helping us answer questions about divorce and real estate. Um, we do have a couple questions involving children today. So and... let me ask you oh. this though first, because I know the answer for the divorce perspective. Okay. So I'm curious to hear the answer from, from your perspective. Should you involve the children in the sale of the house? Okay, not real estate related at all. From a, not from a real estate perspective, personally, I feel like you should. And even really young, because I, I mean, this is a side story, but even as young as four years old, my mom um, had put a dog of ours down and didn't tell me, and that, that really upset me. So I just know from that young of an age, it was uh, communication was important to me about some, a big decision. And so this is going to really affect their lives, and I think that they should be involved. But what do you say? So from the divorce perspective, I always tell my clients, do not involve the children at all oh, okay. in the litigation. And oh. sometimes that might be uh, you know, various aspects of it, but when you come to selling the house, um, you don't know how they're gonna react, and plus you don't know what's gonna happen yet. You haven't finalized things. So I'm not saying don't involve the children in the sale, because I mean, at some point in time, you're gonna have to let them know, obviously, like before a moving truck shows up out front. But um, when things have settled and, and there's been that decision, then maybe at that, that, at that point, yes, let the children know, hey, we're selling the house, and then get them excited for the new house, obviously, yeah, right? right. Um, what, what, what are you gonna paint the new rooms and, and, and things like that. Everything that the psychiatrists tell you to do. Right, exactly. Stages. Well, I feel like, you know, like you said, they're not always, they might have questions that you don't have answers yet for, for yet. And so are they staying in the house? Are they selling the house? There's a lot of questions to be determined through the process. So for and, sure. And oftentimes, I, I know I'm asked this question, um, but you know, during the pendency of the divorce case, you've got people who can't live together, but what do you do with the children, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's in their best interest? And oftentimes, well, not often, sometimes, um, in order to not disrupt the children, depending on their ages and, and things like that, uh, we'll do what's called a nesting routine, where sort of the birdies will fly out of the nest, the parents, and leave the little chick chickies, I don't know, there. And um, this way, their routine's not disrupted. They stay in I their, love that. their rooms. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's so nesting the, routine. So the parents come in and out yes. of the home. Okay, okay. So and the children, during, they maintain consistency for them. That's yeah. awesome, I love that. So that's during all of this negotiating and back and forth until yes. you have made a decision on the divorce proceedings? Yes. Once you determine what you're going to do with the house, either by agreement or the court's going to tell you what you guys will do, at that point usually you don't want people staying in the same property. Right, right. Um, right. And at that point too, it's it's time to, to split and the kids are going to have to adjust, yeah. uh, especially if they're going to move to a brand new house altogether right. for both parents. Yeah. Right. And most kids are resilient. Yeah. And I'm sure you have resources for kids if like, you know, counseling and different things like that, right? Yeah, depending on the age of the child, um, even as uh, young as four, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are things like play, um, art it out type therapy. Oh, good, um, okay. Where they can get their emotions out. They might not know what those emotions are. They know they're feeling something. Yeah. And, you know, their rock in terms of the house, of their room and all of that is important. And you want to help them through this. Because sure. there, there's a lot of changes that are going to happen with the divorce. Mm -hmm. And them moving should not be the, you know, um, ultimate issue that sort of breaks them. I yeah, say. for sure. Yeah. For sure. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate it. We have one more question as it has to pertain to the children. Um, what is a deferred sale or delayed sale and should you consider that on behalf of your children? So yeah, in, in a divorce case, um, if the parties can agree, that's great. I mean, if you agree and you have, uh, I think an example I used was you have a senior and you settle your divorce case in maybe October and they're graduating that year and the plan is to sell the house at some point, but you could wait. Um, you could delay the sale until June or even if you have a junior and you know the sale is coming it has to happen because you can't you know maybe they can't afford to you know to have the house or whatever you can say all right next year we will list the house this way you get that child through high school in their school district in their home and there's no disruption to them whatsoever and i mean technically i believe under the irs rules you can have up to six years to wow. do a property transfer so you wow. can stay in the house especially if the market is not favorable yeah. we've had downturns and at, at those times you don't want to sell and you want to wait sure. and you guys 
the parties want to get as much out of the house usually as possible. So yeah. to them, it usually makes sense to wait if it's a couple of years. Um, this way they can get the most bang out, uh, for their buck out of That's the true. And the other thing too is when you think about from a real estate perspective, fall sales that gets into getting discounts and lower prices and spring that's when they're going to make the most amount of money so if it helps you know the child out and the schedule and the senior or whatever situation it is I mean that might be uh, the best thing to do so thank you so much for answering all these questions we so appreciate you Kevin and um, thank you for tuning in Reagan Thorpe Keller Williams and the Reagan Thorpe Real Estate Group